Hey guys, Lokesh here and welcome to my specialist. In the previous video, we talked about how to locally host WordPress on our system. So we finally install WordPress on our system and we actually log in into backend of our website. So now we have this page dashboard with the problems occur when I customize this website. Like I want to you know, add, add some new plugins or delete. Yeah, I want to delete this Hello Dolly plugin, but I can't like uh, yeah delete this and this pop-up pop is open and I ask for host name FTP username or password so it's kind of something connection uh, FTP connection error so I can't even delete any plugin or I can't even add new plugin okay now I'm going to um, change the theme so click on appearance and theme and I want to add new it's all featured theme and I want to select this so simply click on install but I can't you can see this it's the in, uh, connection information and again it asks for FTP username and password so it's kind of error error or something so first of all to you know to solve this problem you have to change uh, file permission like uh, yeah we have a uh, database uh, like I, I just created database of WordPress so you have to locate that folder for from your applications XAM XAM files htdocs and yeah so it's my database so simply select this file and right click on it and click on get info or you can press command and i and it will open this info so now select the sharings and permissions you will find it on the bottom of the info so simply click on the drop down and you will see there are some kind of user or something and you will see the by default is read and write read only and read only so simply you have to select this and choose read only make all these three to read only once you get this click on the lock icon you have to unlock this to unlock this you have to enter credentials and ok once you un unlock it select again select this and uh, choose read and write read and write and select read and write for you know all these three and uh, now it's time to click on settings and click here apply to enclosed items it will ask some permission because you can't undo this so click on the ok it take uh, yeah once you done close this and now you have to add some specific uh, code on uh, wp config file for that you have to locate this from your applications xam xam files htdocs wordpress simply click on the wp config php please do not select con wp config sample so double click on it it will open in your text editor and you can add wherever you like but I am going to add at the starting of the coding so the code I am giving in my description box so you, you have to simply just go there and copy the code and you have to paste here code you will find on my description box so copy that code and paste here on WP config not WP config sample once you done click on the file and save once you save that close the text editor and close your applications again open your web browser and search for localhost slash your database name slash wp admin enter ok now click on the plugins and I want to delete this hello dolly and now click on the delete ok so as you can see this now I can delete this plugin you can also add themes or pages you can trace these pages and now you can add also in this way you can solve this error ok now you are ready to edit and customize your website so I, I found this error while editing while customizing my website so I am making this tutorial for you I hope you like this tutorial thumbs if you like and share if you love still if you have any questions please let me know in comments subscribe my channel for latest update and see you in the next one